Hey guys, welcome to the World CP Tour, and this time it's going to be Medea. This place is pretty huge, and there's quite a lot to do. Um, so we start off first here, just at Ato Farm, just from from Heidel, east of, from west of Heidel or east of Heidel. And uh, yeah, we this quest has a bit of a prerequisite. I don't remember how I unlocked it, but once you have it unlocked, you can do it every day. Just basically climb on top of the roof and uh, get that chicken. Um, why can't I get up? Oh my god. Okay, that's weird. I Okay. <laughs> Kuno cheater. <laughs> okay, so I'll hand that in to this person. Easy 100 CP. Um, there's also a number of quests here as well. Uh, Saucens. There's a lot at Kusha and Stonetail Horse Ranch. There's some at Terra for uh, mains and rogues. I'm not going to do that because they don't really give too much. So I'm just going to go straight to the Stonetail Horse Ranch. Helms also has a number of quests um, by the NPC here in the node manager. Uh, they're somewhere along the road right around here. And you just kill a bunch of Helms and then they'll send you all the way to the Median Northern Gateway as well. One of them is just talk to an NPC and you get like a quest done. More CP very easy. Uh, very good if you're grinding an alt there to 56 kind of thing. Um, so you might as well take that with you and just do it while you're there. But for now, I'm at the Stonetail Horse Ranch. Let me talk to this person. Um, for a beloved sweltering horse. Talk to Bonnie here. Spend three energy and this is where your silk honey grass starts disappearing. You need nine silk honey grasses, which is nothing. So you just hand it into Barney as well. And then there's another one south of here. Okay, so give it to Benny. Okay, so that's done. Talk to Gula. Yeah, you probably want dry main grass because I don't know how often. Then she gets you another quest called the Daily Ranch's Asset, which is basically collect bottles of piss from the <laughs> horses. <laughs> oh god, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> okay, so that's that's done. Another one here. That's done. And there's one more somewhere. I don't remember where. I think it's one of these ones here. Oh, no, it's not. It's one way out there. Okay, I see the yellow dot on my mini map. It's this one right here. Toleran. Okay, so that's done. That's 200 CP in total. Not too bad for a few seconds. Okay, so. Wait. Wait, what in the world? Oh no, I'm missing one. What? There's another one called Carolina. What the f- Oh, it's way out here. Okay, well, before I walk to that person, talk to Azran here. Uh, daily better safe than sorry. This is 15 logs. Expensive quest to complete, but whatever. I want the CP right now. Uh, generally, you probably don't want to spend your, your logs on that. This one's to move a card for 100 CP. Not really worth it, in my opinion. There's better ones in Valencia. You can do it as well since you're here, but it'll give you some breathy XP to your breath bar. I'm going to do the milk because this milk quest definitely gives you a lot. This one probably gives you the most, actually, out of all of them. Okay, I got 9 milk from that. And... Go to Carolina over here, random horse. Collect that. Okay, that's done. Stone Tail Horse Ranch actually has a lot of CP for very little time spent here. Uh, plus 15 milk, 2 strength experience icons, and 2 gathering skill, and 100 CP. Very good. Very, very good. Take this. Uh, I don't know, garlic? Garlic. I need more garlic. Okay, then we go to here. Wapra. Why you have the fruit juices was for this person here. Grab both his quests. Hand in the fruit juice. Fruit juice is like easy, easy win. Take squids because I have too much of every other fish. Talk to this person here. He wants you to grab a raccoon just up this cliff here because he's lazy as shit. I don't know why. Okay, so talk to that. That's complete as well. More CP. Run out to the racetrack. There's a person out here. Okay. Cap 
capture this drunk. Run back. Go across this bridge, actually. Okay, so I'll talk to this person. Uh, probably take a lizard or 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 pig hide. I think those are the two useful ones. Okay, and that's it for this place. Easy enough. And then you head towards Kusha. Okay, so I made it to Kusha. You might have to do some of these quests to unlock some of these, but um, once you get to the daily parts, uh, I can do it alone. You hand in two elixirs of will here, which is why I told you to hand hold on to it and the first video. So there's that. Talk to this guy. He wants you to grab... Uh, oh, the hell? Oh, he wants you to kill some monsters. Okay, never mind. Whatever. I thought he wanted me to take something to him. That's weird. I don't remember which quest that was then. I could have sworn he wanted me to take some sacks to him, but I don't know anymore. Grab this quest as well. Has to kill some spiders or cheetah dragons. Stone crab. Grab that as well. They're all in the same area. Grab this one. This is what the exotic herbal wine was for. The full bodied one. You need the blue version of that. Uh, there's the sacks over there. Back to Adam Burney, this is what you need 20 dry main grass for. Oh, I can't take any more quests. Nope. Uh, food for that. Okay, grab, hand this in first because I have it already. It's done. Cheetah dragons grabbed. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why he doesn't tell me to go get sacks for him. Oh, he does. Expensive camel feed. That's the quest I was looking for. Oh, darn it. Okay. I, I can't take any more quests at the moment, so... I'll do that after, so I'm just gonna kill these things quick. Wow, I do, like, no damage. Okay, so I'll just get, get right in there. Done. Uh, you can probably even get back to the town faster if you just use escape escape. I don't remember where it takes you from here, but I think it brings you back to the town. Okay. Alright, hand this in. Up the other one, expensive camel feed, get some breathy XP. Because those stats are actually pretty good when you power them up. Especially for a new character that has less than level 30 breath, so it really helps. Some more CP EXP right there. More CP EXP right there. One, two, three. Um, cheetah dragons, I don't Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, because I mean you only have to kill 15, it's really nothing. 
just right there. And then you can head over to Sarma Outpost and do Saucens if you want. They've got a lot of Saucens quests, but I would actually suggest picking up uh, another Saucens quest over here. But I think you have to finish a Medea quest line in order to get it, so then you'll have about five Saucens quests. But I'm not going to do that in this video because they buffed the mob's HP recently and they take like forever to kill now by yourself. So it's actually a lot worse. So I actually cut that out of my route now. Um, so I used to actually go to Saucen temporarily, but if you're gonna go grind there, you might as well pick them all up. And you can get multiple things done at a time. Okay, and that's it for uh, Stonetail Horse Ranch and that. So I'm gonna head over to Alta Nova now. Alta Nova Entrance. I also forgot Castle of Farm here, so just want to let you know that the, the quest that Castle of Farm is given here is actually really easy to complete as well. Um, let's just kill like 10 bison for 120 CP. Very quick, very nearby, doesn't take too long, and there's also kill 10 hedgehogs as well. Um, so then there's also the sack of fertilizer, which is for 100 CP. Uh, definitely worth doing these um, because they're all really close by, especially this uh, deliver this sack, which is just to the NPC over there for 120 CP and some uh, strength EXP. Um, so definitely take these as well. Uh, it's worth doing for a very short amount of time for the amount of CP it offers. It's pretty much as fast as a as fast as a chimney sweep, except you get stamina EXP from it as well. So if you're doing new characters under level 30, it also helps. Um, this is why I moved the alts while I uh, do these, so then um, it also saves time. One of the main things is you want to save as much time as possible in between from travel. So which is why you also mobilize one character to Calfion and then another one you can move to Valencia if possible. Uh, some of them are really quick. You don't have to do all of them every day. And, uh, generally the ones that are ultra easy will generally help get the CP out really quickly. Uh, I'm obviously going to be grinding this all the way to 350 before doing other things. And then throughout the night time I craft while I sleep. So then when I wake up, do the grind again. And repeatedly. Alright, and that's Castle of Farm. I'm just going to kill like the bison all while I'm on the way to the next point. Okay, so we've made it to Alta Nova here. And in Alta Nova, we have attendance reward. God damn it. Go away! Okay, and so this is the first guy you talk to, uh, Meisha. So take his uh, quest, hand in the 10 silver azalea I told you to hold in the, in the first video, and that's where that goes. That's gone. Key down key. And then you ride inwards. Oh, there's a quest here. Pick up this quest as well. This one's to chop some white cedar planks into plywood. This is the person here that gives the saucing quest as well. Be worth picking up if you're gonna go grind there. Um, just as you're riding in here, there's Drosh, who also wants to have you make polished stones. You probably need to make polished stones somewhere down the road anyway, so you might as well. Uh, so that's why you're carrying this 20 rough stone here from the beginning. Let's get that done. You make the two polished stones and hand to them. Sometimes you might get a double proc, sometimes you might not. Sometimes you get triple or quad. Pick up the emptied bottles if you want. That will be useful more than the pickaxe. And then uh, go to storage, Deev. Okay, so there's that. Call your Black Spirit, probably got a daily support quest for you here, so you can just pick up 50k while you're here. Oh shit, wait, that's not what I wanted. Wait, what the hell? Uh, okay, let's grab that. 
Okay, so daily Medea settlement. Okay, so daily Medea settlement. Picked up my scroll. Okay, so I've got that 50k. Take out if you have organic fertilizer. I stock a crap ton of uh, organic fertilizer here for reasons. Um, and then basically, uh, you need two, and then take out one fine hard hide as well if you have it. Uh, you're also going to need tough hide as well. Uh, you probably want to use your hides for crafting, but if you're grinding CP like I am right now, then you probably want to use it for this instead. Um, I also need a fine tough hide, so you need one fine hard hide and one fine tough hide here for instant uh, victory. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so hand in this to D. Two, it's 100 CP. Give it to this guy. Find tough hide gives to him 120 CP. And then afterwards, you go to the marketplace dealer for another easy turn in. And that's another one done. So that's 300 CP. All for turn ins. So if you got an alt, if you have an alt character here and you've got spare materials that you want to spend and just easily raise your CP repeatedly like that, uh, Altanova is a good place to do that. Um, then if you're also harvesting white cedar uh, timber uh, and you process it here as well, take out your 10, 10 planks and chop it into plywood for that other quest at the front earlier. Just do that right now. Okay, and we have that complete now. And just hand that into the person. Reset happened just 10 minutes ago, so technically my whole route just refreshed. I can actually just run back to some of the places previously in the other videos and just auto hand in some of the quests that yeah, used yeah. to take quite a bit longer. I'll probably hand them in like when I'm actually moving stuff around or I need to go grab stuff from somewhere. So that's that. That's done. Oh shit, I forgot. Avet over here also has a uh, beer turn in. He just wants you to turn in beer for the quest. Five of them right there. Easy. Okay, and then you go to Avon. There's some quests in Splashing Point too that can help raise your strength level even further. Uh, you just carry some stuff around um, very easy and then you probably just drop off your imperial delivery there too if you're if you're doing fishing selling your fish that's one one place to just kind of side off meander off into doing something okay and then we go through here This quest here, this one's really easy. Get some breath EXP. Go away, you attendance reward. Oh my god. Why does it keep, like, you're supposed to give it to me already. Okay, whatever. Check in time in one hour. What the f. Don't pop up if you can't give me the attendance reward. What the fuck? Okay, so take this to this guy over here. And then all that milk that you gathered earlier from the previous areas, there will be somewhere you hand in right here for some more CP EXP. Very easily done. Easily done zones. Uh, I have 83 milk from all that questing earlier, so it's not too bad. Milk and bread, 100 CP. You can either take a flare or empty bottles. I'll take a flare. Just randomly flare inside town. And this thing from earlier, that's from the basket that I just gave to him. Pick up this quest here. Person wants you to make some salt. How do you get salt? Well, that's what the bottles are for from earlier. So you go to here, just jump down, and then you also uh, get your empty bottles out. Where's the empty bottles? So you use the empty bottle there. Just gather some water. Probably need like five, I think. What is it? Oh, ten. I need ten of them. So where that ten is coming from is actually the Olvia quest that we gathered way in the beginning. It's for the guy like way over here by the Nodmir coop. And that's what this is. Oh. What a trip.
<sighs> so later when you get back to Olvia, you can get 3 energy, 40 CP, pick up some more water, and some gathering skill EXP from that. Very little. It's not even worth much of anything, but it's just an easy, easy thing that just hand off all you're there, so every little bit counts. I mean, my bar was pretty much close to the beginning here, and it's already raised halfway. And this is without doing the Valencia. By the time you're done the Valencia sections, it should be about like 90% full. Pretty much close to 1 CP, so... And most of the time it's like, I do it in the time frame between res resets, so then the root also increases. So basically that is 1 CP per day is how I measured it, so... Within a single day, if you get it all done in a single day, it won't be a full CP, it'll be about like 70% of the CP. So, but it's still a lot. And then uh, afterwards, because once you hit 350 CP, then um, that's when you cannot do the Valencia quests anymore. And that's when I'm going to hand in all my turn-ins and then rock it to like 360 or something. Okay, and then heat this into salt. Okay, that's done. I'm gonna hand this into him. Another flare. This one's a bit slow, so it's not necessary to do all of these. Obviously, the turn in ones are the easiest ones to do. Uh, you can also do a uh, new character and just do like autocomplete on some of the quests. Um, if you go to the south here, uh, there's a Marnie's Lab quest. Um, if you do the quest like about four days in, you can get about 500 CP in like a split second by the fourth day. Because you just exchange the belts over and over, like three times over, and you upgrade it to the maximum point and you get the Mad Scientist Will belt, which is a DP belt. And then if you get multiple of them, you can kind of pry them if you want, but... Uh, I'm gonna do this because I have a fortune cookie quest here. So, pick up that quest. He just wants you to kill 50 of these things, which is very easy. So, it's not that's not hard. That's it. Okay, have this in. 50 CP. That's that. Alright guys, and that's uh that's it for Altanova. There's a few other places like Splashing Point there, but um, that's it. And then um head on to Valencia. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye for now.